blue We gotta stick together cause I know we'll pull through There aren't many differences between me and you These differences are nominal just like the green and blue Green and blue What it is, YouTube, it's your boy, 202, coming at y'all with that fresh Phantom Dust content, of course. Now, in this video, we're going to be talking about my personal top three things that Phantom Dust needs to change about the game or, you know, for this game to become great or become like an eSport type game. My, this is, These are the top three things that I personally think that needs to be changed to make the game better. So let's get into that right now with number three. Now, I don't know necessarily know if y'all having this problem, but when the game first came out, I purchased, I spent the $8 to purchase all, you know, all the cards, get three copies of all the cards for $8. I purchased that when I first got the game and you know, I build multiple arsenals. I brought multiple um, arsenal cases or whatever and, and brought multiple skills. But I started to realize that I'm missing skills. So there was one time, one instance that I went back to buy another three set. You know, another three, spent another $8 to buy three more copies of each card. And when I first purchased it, I didn't receive the cards. And also, I, per I purchased a Arsenal case that I never received. But the cards that I purchased, it took maybe about five hours or six hours. I'm not exactly sure. But it took later on to that day to my cars to actually show up. And I was a glitch and I was upset at the moment because I was trying to build my skills. And I was buying skills, you know, individually and I wasn't receiving my skills. But I do think I have them now, but then I didn't. And there is one still, there is still one Arsenal case that I haven't received. Which I'm thinking it was just a glitch in the game or, you know, something messed up but you know i i kind of brushed it off my shoulder or whatever but that's just a minor thing you know that i think needs to be fixed um i don't know if it was just me or you know let me know in the comments below if y'all purchased some skills or purchased the arsenal case that y'all didn't get or received or whatever let me know in the comments below because it did happen to me and it kind of you know pissed me off that day but yeah i mean every game has its glitches or whatever but that's just one that happened to me and that's my number three now for number two, this is a major one. And if y'all haven't checked out my video, my warning video, I had already explained this, but my number two thing that this game needs to fix is the, not necessarily the battle royal, but this is one thing that is keeping the game become, becoming great, but the tag team and the battle royal. Now the battle royal, this isn't necessarily something they can fix, it's just something that I really don't like about the game because I try to win. <laughs> you know, I mean I'm very competitive and I I'm very competitive and I hate losing. But when I play battle royal because of I'm because I'm a higher level than most other people, I get jumped. They will jump you. Like they will they will double team you. There's been one instance that literally three people were running at me not even hitting each other it was one time it was just one time i don't know if they were all in the party just laughing like ha, we're gonna we're gonna take this guy out but they literally were all three running at me and i was spending just about the whole match just running away from all three of them and they eventually you know they ended up killing me but i got jumped i mean they said they were like i was just a higher level than all of them and they just all jumped me they weren't even hitting each other but that was just one instance, but there's been other instances, you know, where I got double teamed or, you know, just double team, triple team at a little bit. It, I just kind of find the battle royal a little bit unfair for the people who's a higher level. But that's just me. That that has nothing to do with the game. That's just my personal opinion about the game. But tag team. Now, tag team, this is something that Phantom Dust or the, this is something that Microsoft needs to fix about this game. The tag team. If you haven't, go ahead and check out my warning video. But the tag team, they can kick you out of the... They can kick you or kick the person. They can start it 2v1. Like, you can jump into the game, go to Team B, and the host can start the game 2 versus 1. Or if you and another person go to Team B, and they can kick out one of the Team B people and then start the game 2v1 however they want to do it and there's been a not a lot 
but there has been a couple of instances where I have gotten, you know, I either I've gotten kicked or the person I was playing with when my friends got kicked or he or I got kicked and it was 2v1 or however or like I go to B and there's been other instances where I go to the B team and somebody else go to the B team and then one guy to go to A and the host will start it. So it'll be 3v1. So that is, I don't know if they don't know if they shouldn't be able to kick it or the game. They should change the game to where a game cannot be start started unless there's two people on team A, two people on team B. So it can be, you know, so it can be fair. But that is one major thing that this game needs to fix for this game to become, you know, one of the great games, the car games. But that's for number two. Now, number one. My least favorite thing about this game. And this right here, now the thing I'm about to talk about is this has been talked about and mentioned and discussed before this game even released. Before the remake of this game even released, I think his name is Adam Green, but the guy who was on Twitter, that there was just Twitter. Everybody was talking about this on Twitter and online, on forums. But hanging of environmental skills, the hanging of environmental skills, that is my least favorite thing about this game. Now, I don't, it, may, it might just be me. Now, some people might be like, hey, it's a part of the game. You can, the game, you can do it, you know, whatever. It's a part of the game or whatever. Me personally, I think it is cheating because. I mean, personally, I do not do it. I feel that I'm I'm good enough to beat the person I'm playing without even having to do it. Now, if you now I'm saying if you want to place an environmental in the corner, and then have the person you're playing against, you know, use it as bait. Have the person you're playing against run towards you to try to grab it. And, you know, you hit them with a Excalibur or a Maserati blade or whatever, you know, as bait. That I can understand. But hanging the skill is they they're just like there's environmental skills to where you can't use skills with a three cost or lower. I mean or higher. And your skill, your arsenal might have don't might not have a level two or level one. So right when they place that environmental and destroy the you know the environment around it to where you can't pick it up and you can't attack. You can't do nothing else the rest of that game. And i and there has been I have lost so many games because of that. Now, I've, I'm not, I mean, I've lose games because, you know, you're gonna lose games regardless, but there has been countless amount of games that I lost to that. And the thing about it is, I'm, I'm a higher rank, so I play against a lot of higher rank people. So it's very, very frustrating whenever I'm playing against good people and I might lose to somebody good, and then I go to my next game and play, you know, somebody else who's a higher rank, and I might play them like twice, and they're hanging environmental skills, so I lose to them also. So it is just very frustrating. I know they talked about it in Twitter. They were saying should they put like a five, a five minute limit on it, or a three minute limit on it, or whatever. And they talked about it, but I don't think that it was implied onto the game because I haven't not yet to see that the you know the skill go away or the effect goes away after five minutes or whatever but maybe it's just me y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all think about the hanging of environmental skills because it is very very frustrating i have lost so much rank from just that not even getting beat i've lost rank you know i played higher rank people and they were good you know and they beat me and i and i and i to be personally if you beat me i like getting i mean i like getting beat it helps me learn it helps me make make better arsenals whenever i get beat especially when i'm playing somebody good and i'm like man this dude is good you know he's dodging all my hits i can't hit him you know he do this but when you hang an environmental skill it's like bro I, I just i don't even want to play this dude i mean Cause me personally, I personally think I can make an environmental. I get I can make an environmental um, arsenal to where if I hang my environmental skill, then you will automatically lose. I don't. I think I can make an arsenal that can't be countered by anything. Now everything in this game can be countered, but I think I can make an environmental arsenal that can't be countered by nothing if I just hang the skill. 
And I think it, that is just, I think it's cheating. That's just my personal opinion. Let me know in the comments below if y'all think it's cheating or if y'all say, hey, it's a part of the game. It's not cheating. Yeah, yeah, this, that, yeah, whatever. I'm cool with it. Just let me know in the comments below what y'all think, man. I'm not, I won't be mad at you, but I, me personally, I hate it because I've lost so many games because of, because of hanging. But yeah, that is my number one thing that really needs this, that really needs a change about this game before this game can become great. And that's all I wanted to say about this. And we're one week into this game. We're about one week in, a little over one week. And the game is dope, but that's all I wanted to say about that. And I now, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the bell right next to it for the notifications so you will be notified when I do come out with new videos. I have a lot of new projects working. I'm working on a lot of new projects. I got tutorial vids coming out. I got more um, build arsenals coming out. Um, I got a lot of things coming out for this game. So go ahead and hit that notification. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification button. And I will holler at y'all until the next time. Sleep on satin. Homies always telling me just keep on rapping. I'm a blood up while you sleep on napping. What the fuck you want me to say? These things happen.